my name is Cosmarie Ayersman. Some of you know me as a LARP girl. And today I'm going to show you how to shop for your LARP gear at the thrift store. We're at my local thrift store here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And let's go inside and see what we can find. So we're going to get our costumes together first. We're going to start by finding some shoes, pants, and maybe even a shirt that's going to bring it all together. Alrighty, so one thing that you might want to take a look into is finding some piece of jewelry that's going to mean a lot to your character. Um, you can find so many different kinds uh, that look like they were made from a different time period. You can wrap your bottles with it, you can put it around your neck, anything, but this is going to pull your costume together to make it a little bit more personable. We have some nice Viking jewelry if you look closely. Still in the props department of the thrift store, there are plenty of different bottles that you can get to add, you know, your own mead or maybe just some soda that you want to slip in game. Not to mention there's some vases that you can bring in game that are perfect that are going to add to the immersion of the setting. So here we are in the prop department of the thrift store and oh my god, they have the perfect mugs to tie to your costume. These are these are brilliant, these are pewter, so, and they're $2.99, so make sure that you go through this entire section to find something, because you never know when you're going to find the perfect goblet for your costume. These really are perfect. So, a lot of different purses are going to look very modern, but if you look closely, some of them are going to pass. Uh, this is something that you can bring as your character to carry your potions, spell packets, your character sheet, anything. Um, just remember, the less modern that it looks, the better. Oh, this one is pretty nice too. See the green? Next we're going to look at men's sweaters. So we're going to look for a sweater that is has a really thick stitch on it, uh, something that, that really looks like it's in the period, and you would easily just cut the collar off, cut the sleeve down to maybe about your elbow, and that would be a perfect tunic for your starting character. Next you want to look at belts. Men's belts tend to be a little bit longer, so they're going to be perfect. I recommend finding one that looks less modern. You can tie it around your waist like so. And just do a little medieval down the head. It's just perfect. So again, we're in the props department. Little boxes all over the place that's going to fit into the setting. Um, obviously, you want to consider what kind of character you have. Are you poor, rich? Um, what are you trying to show to the world that your character is? So obviously maybe a collector of sorts, maybe a hobbit or a dwarf might have something like this. Actually, I think a dwarf would have something more metal, like this. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is a spit tune or put plants in it, but it would be the perfect bowl uh, to eat your stew out of. These are perfect for illuminating the privy because you don't have to worry about electricity to light the bathroom. You can just go by candlelight. Makes it a little bit more romantic too, if you like getting romantic in the bathroom. The thrift store has really good music playing always in the background, but don't let that distract you from the possible opportunity to get yourself a tea kettle. Oh, cast iron skillet. Perfect. Not only can you beat people with this like the Rapunzel, but it's perfect for cooking your morning breakfast over the fire. Shoes are going to be a lot easier for women to buy at the thrift store. However, men, you need to know what to look out for. Um, any pair of leather shoes will be just fine. I even recommend the leather-bound sandals. A good pair of boots is okay too, but obviously the modern lining on them is going to be a little bit distracting. So a good way that you can cover this up is take those sleeves from the sweater that you bought and cover the laces. Women's shoes obviously a lot easier to get. Perfect! No heel, kind of looks wooden, and they're made out of suede. I want these. They're size 7! Ah, uh, worst part about coming in the thrift store. You never know if you're going to find your size. Something with an easy pattern that looks neutral, um, something that's believable. Oh, cowgirl. In case you're doing a steampunk look. Sometimes people want to get these button-down frilly shirts for their LARP character. It's good if you want to be a pirate, but I advise to tread away from these kind of shirts. They look very modern, and even though they're really cool for a pirate, they don't always fit the setting. Remember, a pirate is kind of in the Renaissance or early colonial age. 
and wouldn't fit in the medieval time period. So that's something that you might want to pay attention to. What time period is your LARP event trying to recreate? This is a really good shirt. Um, it's not as long as I would like, but if you can find one longer, perfect. If not, just tie it around the waist and it'll be awesome for your character. The reason why I like this shirt is because of the embroidery on it. If you look closely, it almost looks hand done and it looks like maybe something a Viking would wear because of the way that they cut it. So I highly recommend something like this. I highly recommend searching the women's department for pants. Maybe even look at the scrubs. The reason why is that you want to find some pants that are high-waisted or are going to work really well for your character. These pants are going to be linen or cotton and they're going to be less distracting than jeans. Don't be afraid to take some time to check yourself out. You've got to make sure everything fits. But I highly recommend looking in the plus size section because here is a really awesome sweater. Once again, cut the sleeves off, cut the neck off, you got yourself a tunic. Oh, and guess what we just found? Velvet for your noble lady or lord. This is perfect. What makes this dress perfect is that even as a mage you could wear this. I want this now. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. <laughs> Add some embroidery, a uh, ribbon, anything, and it's your perfect noble lady's dress. Even in the Byzantine Empire, men were known to wear long dresses like this. It's perfect for the medieval ages. I want this so bad. This would be a really good high elf outfit. The reason why is because it has a little bit of detail on the buttons here. It almost makes it look different worldly. Men and women can wear this. More sweaters, dresses. Men, don't be afraid to wear dresses. This is where the ego comes down and the pumps come on. So I couldn't just put this dress down because it's amazing, so what we're going to actually do is try it on. Uh, people try on stuff at the thrift store all the time, so make sure you try it on before you take it home. No refunds. Alrighty, so now we got to zip it up. You know the moment I get this dress on, I'm not taking it off. So this is it on. Obviously it fits. <sighs> Regrettably it fits. Put a little bit of finish on it, cut off the top, and may even be a replica Arwen dress lookout. One thing that you want to invest in is getting your character a bedroll. They're going to look very different because the thrift stores have lots of different options for you. Used ones too, so that makes it perfect. For example, if you were a Byzantine or Roman citizen with a lot of money, you might want to invest in something like this. It's a nice comforter that's going to be really, really warm at the events, or maybe you can just lay it down on the ground for a picnic. Any fabric made out of cotton, wool, or linen is going to be perfect for your bedroll. And don't forget to look around because you might find enough fabric to make yourself a cloak. Don't be afraid to find tapestries to hang from trees, your tent, cabin windows. You can paint your faction's emblem on it, that way you can show a little bit of LARP pride no matter where you are. There's plenty of fabric to be had at the thrift store, so make sure you go through all of it. The reason why is it's the perfect opportunity for you to find costuming for your character. If you have a sewing machine or want to use your hands, you can make something really, really beautiful. How cute is this together? Very cute. Very cute. Twenty-four ninety-eight. Awesome. Okay, that's yeah. wrapped up. Did you hear that? Twenty-four dollars. I got an awesome purse and a beautiful dress. Finally, a special thank you to Community Thrift Center on Babcock in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for letting me use their establishment to film my video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.